Howdy hi, Amanda here, and I've got my great friend Jason Hello. along for the show today, and we're doing quick questions from triathletes, so these are some I've received through websites, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff, so keep on sending them in. I think I'll hand it over to Jason. First question I have for you, Amanda, is from the swim video, we had a lot of questions about how did you get so much stuff in your bag and what kind of bag was it? Ah, oh, the swim video. So that truly was my swim bag. I take all that junk all the time. Never know which swimsuit I want to wear at the pool. Here you have it. It's a tier rucksack. Great, awesome, pretty huge. It's about as big as me, but um, holds everything. You can check it out, tier.com. Can you dump it out for us to see how much stuff there really is in it? You want me to dump this out again? Yes. All right, here we go. It's all coming out. There we go. Well, that's a lot of stuff, and I'm a believer. <laughs> so my first actual question for you is about carb neglecting during training, and when should I start taking in carbs before a race? Great question. Jason. All right, so if you guys have been on any websites, triathlon websites lately, you've probably seen a lot about metabolic training, metabolic efficiency. So that's basically what we're talking about. A lot of them are suggesting to limit your calories during workouts, to turn on your fat stores, and use those. Those are a little bit more efficient burning calories. However, find what works for you. I am carb girl all the way, so I need carb, carb, carbs. I'm not about to starve myself and go out there because if my blood sugar gets a little too low, then my workout's over. I'm going to start bonking. So what can you do? You can go get metabolic testing done, find a center near you, and you'll find out what you're better at burning fats, proteins, carbohydrates, and can find the right mix during you, or right mix for you during training, racing, all that good stuff. As far as carbo loading before a race, that's going to depend on the distance of the race. Ironman race, we're going to take um, in some ex extra carbs for almost a week before the race. And when we're looking at 70.3 or half Ironman distance race, we're going to start carb loading three to four days before the race. And Olympic distance race, we're looking at a day or two before the race, getting those carbs up and getting them on board ready for race day. Yeah. So my last question for you is the use of ibuprofen during a race or during workouts and after? Another great question. So ibuprofen during training, racing, all that stuff. So I did my first Ironman, Ironman Cosmel, past November, and I was totally flabbergasted when my coach told me to put ibuprofen in my race bags. I was like, what are you talking about? But I sure am glad that I did. I actually, I took it um, about 30 minutes before I was off the bike and just made my fit legs feel a little bit fresher, took that little bit of pain edge off and I could perform a little bit better. Now, rule number one, absolute most important rule, do not take it to mask or hide an injury. If you're injured, do not take ibuprofen so you don't feel it during a race. Also, look at the mount you're taking. Um, your kidneys are already working hard, especially if you're dehydrated during a race, you don't wanna get too much ibuprofen in there. So 200 milligrams in one tab, and I only took one during my race, so I would limit it to one to two tabs throughout your race, and you'll be set to go. Hey, thank you very much. A lot of great information. Thanks, Jason. We'll see you guys later. Uh, thank you.